Welcome back to the Southern Scene on WSAV and My LC. You know, we often talk about on the Southern Scene how we love to look and feel our best. And when it comes to our mouths and our smiles, it's so important to keep them both in tip top shape for our overall health. And it comes down to a really great dentist who stays up on the latest procedures. And joining us right now is our expert, of course, Dr. Karen Cooper of Smile Designs. Hey, how are you it's doing good today? To good you, to Dr. see Dr. you Cooper. as well. I always love, you know, coming to see you and, and, and talking about everything having to do with your mouth. I always learn something, something new. And today we're going to be talking about something that many people deal with over the years because people dread going to the dentist. We've talked yes, about that. They do. But you don't have to dread going to the dentist, especially when you're dealing with things like root canals. Yes. The infamous root canal. The root canals. And you probably hear that so many times. That's, that is correct. Um, I mean, even when you're watching sitcoms, sometimes you'll hear them talking about something horrible and then they'll reference it to a root canal. I'm like, no, no, it's Don't not do that. that bad anymore. <laughs> do you think it comes down to the procedure or, or what they fear as far as like the pain during the procedure or afterwards? Well, it could be a little bit of both. Um, I will say that root canals have come a long way. Um, when I first started in dentistry, uh, root canal, you would have to see the patient three times uh, minimally to just finish a root canal. Whereas to, today, we're doing root canals, the posting core, and we're probably placing a crown. It can all be done in the same day, but your root canal is usually a one, one uh, visit procedure now. Now, let me ask you this. Now, when it when we come to when we're talking about root canals, a lot of people specifically think that you have to go to an endodontist for a root canal, but that's not necessarily the truth. No, it isn't. Um, it's, it depends on your train. Actually, your training. The uh, dentist, uh, some dentists will just do your front teeth, um, and then some of us will do all of them. It just depends really on the uh, training and how comfortable you are with any procedure, for that matter. Dentist industry we're changing because technology is changing so we're, we're finding easier ways of doing things that are going to make the patient a lot more comfortable and one of them is the procedure with root canals the key with root canals though is catching it at an early stage what are some of the things to look for when you know okay it's time to go to the dentist well um, the dull ache it's definitely a concern, um, especially if the, um, the discomfort starts without having to put a stimuli on the tooth. So out of nowhere, the tooth will start bothering you. So it's not like you eat something and it, start, and it causes you to have discomfort. Um, that's one of the key ones. Um, you go to bed at night and it seems to get worse. Um, or it has a dull ache and then it goes away. And so some people sort of hope, oh, that's it, it's just, it's just nothing. They take a couple of Advil. Correct. Yeah. But it'll come back maybe months later. Those, that's when you're basically letting the inflammation or the uh, irritant build up in the body. So it did drain and it released some of the pressure so it, the discomfort went away for a little while. But it's draining somewhere in the body. And at some point it's going to flare up and that's when it becomes a very difficult situation for us to now get you comfortable. How has it changed over the years? And what would you say to the, those folks who are fearful of, of that kind of thing? Um, well, it's changed in the sense that the procedure is probably more like an hour. It's usually an hour procedure, where we're talking about several hours, several appointments is when, when I first started doing root canals. Um, it was definitely um, um, a, a procedure that patients dreaded, and, and rightfully so. But the thing about it is, is if you don't prolong the process, it's it's all about also saving that tooth and making it healthy. I mean, because you don't want to lose the tooth. And that's correct. And so you'll hear some patients come to you and say, oh, well, I don't believe in root canals because they don't work. And, you know, I spend some time with them and find out, first of all, did the root canal fail you or was it that you had the root canal and you didn't have that crown placed on it? And, and that's important because once you do a root canal, you've taken out the nerve, so you've taken out the blood supply, the nutrients to the tooth. And so we all know the studies show that the tooth becomes brittle. So we need protection over it. So we need to do a crown to protect it. If you don't, you're going to fracture that tooth. It's just a matter of time. 
one other question that I want to ask you, if someone is sitting at home right now and maybe they have had some of those symptoms that we've talked about, maybe they're in need of a root canal or maybe they're in need of just sitting in a dentist's chair to see what's going on, how important is that and mm -hmm. what would you say to those viewers? I would tell you that the first step is actually just coming in to our office. We would love to have you uh, make, your sh make sure that you're comfortable and we will evaluate you and do a thorough procedure uh, evaluation. And let me tell you, you will be definitely glad you did because I sit in the chair also and I'm due for an appointment, I know. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's always great you. to see you, Dr. Cooper, and we look forward to seeing you the next time. Thank you. If you'd like more information on Smile Designs and Dr. Karen Cooper, all you have to do is go to the information you see right there on your screen. Don't go away. We'll be back with more of the Southern Scene right after this. Stay with us.